Welcome to Coding Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to use the if block with this simple animation. First, let's have a look at what happens when we play it. The player controls the cat by pressing the up, down, left and right arrow keys to move the cat around the screen. We can see three other characters on the screen. There is a fish, an apple and a balloon. When the cat touches the fish, he says, Hello fish! When the cat touches the apple, he says, Yummy! I like apples! Finally, when the cat touches the balloon, he says, I like balloons, can I take this one? OK, now let's build this animation. There are three parts to this project. 1. The backdrop. 2. The cat. 3. The fish, the apple and the balloon. 4. The speech bubbles. Now, let's start building one step at a time. First, let's start with a brand new project by clicking the Create button on the home page. You will see a new project open with the cat as the default sprite. A sprite is a character or object we use in making computer programs. Later, we will use other sprites for the fish, apple and balloon. For step one, we want to add a backdrop. Click on the miniature backdrop icon at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Now you can scroll through the backdrop library and select a backdrop you like. I have chosen the pool backdrop, but you can choose any backdrop you like. Now our game has a backdrop. For step two, we want to add some code to our cat sprite. To do this, make sure our cat is selected. Then go to the scripts tab, located next to the stop sign in the centre of the screen. We want to make our cat move around the screen. To do this, we need to add the when space key pressed block, which we find in the events tab. Drag four of these blocks into the workspace. Now click on the drop down arrow to change the space key to up arrow key, down arrow key, left arrow key and right arrow key. Now to make our cat move, we want to add a motion block to each of these event blocks. To move up or down, we use the Y axis, and to move left or right, we use the X axis. To make the cat move up with the up arrow, we need a motion block that says change Y by 10. Add this block to the when up arrow key pressed block. Now test it. Our cat moves upwards. Repeat this for the other arrow keys, remembering that for down and left, we use negative 10 for these opposite directions. Let's test our code. Great, it works. Now we can move our cat around the screen by pressing the arrow keys. For step 3, we're going to create our other sprites. To import a new sprite, we can click on the miniature sprite icon and select a sprite from the sprite library. I will select three new sprites, the fish, the apple and the balloon. But you can choose different sprites to me if you like. Now, place these sprites in different positions around the screen. For step 4 we're going to add more code to our cat so that when the cat touches these sprites he says something in a speech bubble. To begin our code we need a when green flag clicked block. Now if we think back to the animation we can recall that if the cat is touching a different sprite then a speech bubble appears. So we need an if then block. Find this in the control category and add it to the when green flag clicked block. This allows us to make a decision as to when the cat will speak. The cat only speaks when it is touching another sprite. So we need to select a block called Touching Mouse Pointer from the Sensing category and put it into the top of our If Then block. Click on the drop down arrow and change Mouse Pointer to one of our other sprites, Fish 1. If the cat is touching the fish, we want him to say Hello Fish in a speech bubble. So we need a Say Hello for Two Sex block from the Looks category. Place this inside our If Then loop. Notice how we select this from the Looks category and not the Sound category. 
This is because our cat is talking using a speech bubble, which does not make a sound. Now change hello to hello fish. If you want, you can change the to sex to make him say the speech for longer or shorter. I will change it to three sex for a bit longer. Finally, we need a forever loop. This means this condition is being checked continuously by the computer. We can find a forever loop in the control category. Put the forever loop around the if then loop. Now let's click on the green flag to test our code. Yay, it works! If we move our cat to touch the fish, he says, Hello, fish. Now let's repeat this for the apple and the balloon. Drag two more if then blocks into our forever loop. Again, if the cat is touching another sprite, he says something. So, we need the touching mouse pointer block from sensing. Put this in the top of each if then block. Change mouse pointer to apple and balloon 1 using the drop down arrow. Now, if our cat is touching the apple, he says, Yummy, I like apples. And if he is touching the balloon, he says, I like balloons, can I take this one? So, we need the Say Hello for Two Sex block. Find this in the Looks category and add this to each If Then block. Change Two Sex to Three Sex in each. For the If Then block with Touching Apple in the top, change Hello to Yummy, I Like Apples. For the If Then block with Touching Balloon 1 in the top, change Hello to I Like Balloons, Can I Take This One? Now, let's click on the green flag and test our code. It works! When we move our cat around the screen to touch each sprite, he says something different.